This is Appalling News. I'm Paul Chatto. Twitter, our favorite home of insanity, has just become more insane. J.K. Rowling is now being vilified as a Holocaust denier. It all started with a tweet by Rivka Brown accusing Rowling of being a Holocaust denier. J.K.R. threatened her with libel and Rivka issued this apology. On March 13, I tweeted that J.K. Rowling is a Holocaust denier. That allegation was false and offensive. I have deleted it and apologized to J.K. Rowling. Then all hell broke loose and thousands tweeted erudite ad hominems like this. 697 Enthusiast wrote, J.K. Rowling really went from beloved children's book author to massive transphobe and Holocaust denier. It's 100% true, LOL. This one by Reuben Barron is hard to misinterpret. Summer Heacock wrote, J.K. Rowling is a Holocaust denier who uses her money and fame to punch down on the vulnerable and forcibly silence those who accurately describe her with vile lawfare. She's nothing but a coward, ghoulish, Holocaust-denying bully. But what was the big hubbub? This tweet by Thomas Willett summarizes the issue. J.K. Rowling once again, using her wealth to silence critics. She clearly denied the systemic targeting of trans people by the Nazis. Rowling always cries freedom of speech, yet is ready to litigate against people who challenge her, specifically those who cannot defend themselves. So, it's all about this notion that Ms. Rowling apparently denied the systemic targeting of trans people by Nazis. And she was right. The key word is systemic. There was no systemic targeting of trans people by Nazis. This is absurd and shockingly twee. The final solution was codified for one group only. The fact is, the Nazis did persecute and murder non-Aryan race-compatible gypsies and gays. Approximately 10 to 15,000 gay men were shipped off to concentration camps. It was horrific. But their global population wasn't halved. Out of the gay contingent, how many might have been trans? A fraction so small as to make this discussion absurdly irrelevant. This is the one document all JKR haters hang their argument on. The story of the Institute of Sexology destroyed by the Nazis. Magnus Hirschfeld, the doctor who ran the Institute, was a Jew. And based on the magazine covers, a bit of a perv. But that's not the punchline. This is the punchline. The people who are spreading this JKR nonsense are doing so purely because they hate her. They hate her stance on women's rights. Ironically, they are pro-trans leftists, anti-Semites that support holocausting Israel and are now accusing JKR of Holocaust denial for not supporting the specious Nazi targeting of trans claim while being mostly Holocaust deniers themselves. Holocaust deniers accusing J.K. Rowling of being a Holocaust denier. You just can't make this stuff up, folks. In this stirring video of American patriotism featuring far-left activists planning on how they will disrupt the Democratic Party convention, when news came that Iran had launched a hundred drones and missiles at Israel, they chanted, Hands off Iran! Hands off Iran! Hands off Iran! Hands off Iran! Hands off We are fairly certain these people do not support Israel. Are these enemies in your midst or idiots in your school system? As much as they might hate their own country and the fact that the Democrats are not just far enough left to their liking, at least you have elections. Although, to be honest, I have heard the supreme leader of Iran speak 
and he was at least able to put coherent sentences together while spewing terror at the free world. I guess you can't have everything. You'll notice that many of these individuals are wearing masks because most can't afford deodorant. And this person in particular seems to represent the crowd as they are wearing a very stylish DEFCON 1 level respirator, secondhand glasses from Goodwill, Palestinian kefia scarf supporting the ending of Israel, and the mandatory trans rainbow t-shirt, because we all know how well Hamas treats homosexuals. And it's still half a month till shampoo hair day, evidently. Our most important concern, however, if you watch the video, is the preponderance of white people. Seriously, if you're going to be a commie left-wing group of activists that pray for the ending of democracy in your own country, you might as well hire a DEI officer and have diverse hatred. This has been Appalling News, and that's the way it is.